The Ghanaian national team training at the match venue at Kasarani Stadium. This coming on the back of a four days training camp in Ethiopia. The Black Stars are considered overwhelming favorites to win Group F of the qualifiers, and that was evident in a 5 nil thrashing of Ethiopia a year ago. They face a Kenyan side that lost their opening fixture away to Sierra Leone, but the players are not getting carried away. We prepare to come and win, you know. We know it's not going to be an easy game because uh, we cannot underrate the Kenyan team. So uh, we have to do our job and uh, try not to underrate the Kenyan team. Pate is one of the few experienced players in the final squad. In a bold step and perhaps focusing on the future, Coach Kwesi Apia dropped some seasoned players. They include long-serving captain Asamoah Gyan and their U brothers. But Coach Apia admits that it wasn't easy. It was really tough, you know, making the team because um, there were a whole lot of players that at least each position I've made sure I have three players to pick from. So picking a team, you know, was really difficult. Ghana is no doubt one of African football powerhouses, but they haven't achieved quite much success in the recent past. They failed to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup and also finished fourth in the last edition of the African Cup of Nations. It has been 36 years since the last time the Black Stars won the Africa Cup of Nations, but Coach Apia says all that is in the past. Actually, the assignment given to me, you know, is to try to build a team for the Cup of Nations and then for the future. And the only way I can do that is to make sure, you know, I drop some players, bring some new players in. You know, that is the only means that uh, you can build a strong, you know, uh, win some team. Because for me, a good team is a team that has got bench. FIFA nearly banned the West African nation from football in the wake of a bribery scandal involving the former FA chief Kwesi Nyantaki. But the players say they must come together to regain the confidence of their supporters. And it begins with getting a win against Kenya. Edmund Nyabola, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.